Alright, so introducing our 105 Barwick range. So I'm going to do rear and front in this video all together. So the only bit anyone seems to care about is the tow bar, so let's get that out of the way straight up. Alright, so under here, which is the bit everyone wonders about. So the way we've achieved being able to, um, you know, keep it up so high. So if you look, the chassis actually dips up in the air here. So you're able to run this big folded cross member, which actually ties up into the bar. Um, this is an 8 and 10 mil combo. But so this is a big folded panel right up and actually welds back up. That's the bar up there as well. So the bar's body is very large. That's six mil, so it's folded top and bottom. So you can imagine that you've got a large six mil C like that, and then you've got a 10 mil C welded up inside of it, going back the other way, I'm out of hands. Um, so you're making basically a huge box section all out of folded bits. And then your, your tow bar passes through the guts. Your chain brackets actually join these two together, fully welded, and then the chassis bracket does the same. So you've, you've got like a humongous box section that's just all fabricated, and your hitch passes right through. Now this one's just a prototype, super happy with it. We're going to tweak a couple of little tiny dimensions, but no one will notice that stuff. So yeah, um, hitch through the front, pin up in here. I didn't want to have a big opening here. I know it makes it fully functional, but if you're planning to drag the thing on the ground, if you have a break here, it ends up, I've learnt from experience, a rock grabs it and it becomes a peel point. So I wanted to retain this big fold and you can just deal with getting your pin in. It's not like you pull it in and out a hundred times a week and you can get a quick release pin, which is, um, doesn't have the R clip, it's got the other end on it, so it's super easy. So I think that's a cool compromise. All right, now we've got the awkward bit out the way, we'll go through the rest of the bar. So new bar, like what our GU, we've gone to a new style light. We're gonna transition all the bars to this over time absolutely love them think they look way more modern so something we've really tried to feature and, and transition to over time is we're trying to go to all our bars be a radius corner i think it makes them look way more modern it's a heaps more you know modern manufacturing style and and look when we did our own gu we we went from you know a traditional old school bar that we've always made to this style and to the radius bar radius rear bar and the whole bar the car just looks more modern so I absolutely love it. it, it's what we're trying to go for. So four mil wing, six mil body. There's six mil tip to tip. So out to here, one piece, it's all brake pressed as one unit. Um, got our normal billet caps, like all our standard things. Aluminium jerry box. Why are they aluminium? It's not for weight, like everyone thinks. It's because they scuff inside and they go shitty over time. If they're aluminium, they won't go rusty. My pet hate is when they all look shabby inside and you're never gonna stop that. It's just the nature of the beast. Um, so yeah. Modular carrier, you can fit our shelves, max track holder, we've got 10 accessories for this now. Um, you can option them with side hoops, we've always done side hoops, they're not a new thing. Um, that's, that's a conversation for another time. Billet latches, so another cool thing we've done with these is go to our new trailer plug mount, which is um, lets you access it super easy, got spot for an Anderson, can't smash it off. So all the bars are going this way. I've had one in my car for the last little bit, towed a few times, it's delightful to use. So um, recovery points, they're bolt on, you can use them or not use them. If you want that super clean look, don't have them, just run a hitch in the middle. Um, so that's up to you. So as I said, the, the compromise, and look, this isn't even its, its top plate really, it's this one I had from the old bar, but it shows it really, really well. We've gained, we've gained 20 mil to be able to put the tow bar in it compared to a normal bar. So the, that's how different the checker would normally be. I think it's a, a very small price to pay to have it up in there. And this is level with the bottom of the rail. So the absolute departure is as good as life's getting. On the sides, we've tucked it up a little bit, so it's actually up higher, and tried to continue the flat fold the whole way around the bottom. So, you know, we've learned from having it vertical and it dints easy. This with a 90 gives you a huge amount more strength, but it also, you know, it it lets it not catch on stuff, which is why we didn't want to have a cut out in the middle for the tow bar. I know it makes life lovely, but it, it gives it a tear point to grab a rock. So um, integrated light pole mount, like they all do, adjustable wheel plate. These are a fixed carrier. That's how we've always done them. I'm not changing. I know they stand the test of time. I've got literally thousands and thousands of this construction out there and I, I'm not going to change. So four mil RHS, it works. Large bearing stub, integrated. Um, stopper that's hidden so the contact point's really neat and hidden. This is a prime example of a car. If you had it on the outside, when they're white and they get the whack point when, from opening all day like that, you know, they, they look shit within a week. So we, we love how the contact point's hidden in here and they're super strong. It's actually machined into the hub. It's not an accessory, it's not welded on. 
my kids think it's fun to literally bounce these off the stopper. So I wanted them super strong. So look, that's pretty much all of its, you know, features, all the changes, super happy with it. Couple of little tweaks to do and these will be into production later in the year. Hopefully we'll have them be running them just before Christmas so they, you can get them in January. All right, so now we come around to the front. So this is our 105 Dallas bar. Super happy with it. It's killer. It's so snug, I bloody love it. So fit nine inch lights. You've got your inspection hole in here to see your rope on your winch. Countersunk fair lead, so big plates, not a drama. It's a question I get asked. All our bars are gonna go this way. So the big plate fits. I'm sick of talking about <laughs> big plate, little plate. It's got our new logo on it. Look, the main thing is super snug, steady fogs. Um, like all this, it's super snug in, I love it. But we kept trying to keep it classy, so radius corners so it still looks modern. This is one folded integrated part with the uh, aerial mount all built into it. The upright is right up over the chassis. Um, but we still, you know, it's got a bash plate on the, like a, an infill bash plate, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it's, it's more prominent on cars like a GU where the radiator support panel hangs out the bottom, but it's just modern. You know, a lot of young blokes probably won't even put them on, but it just finishes it right off. One of the coolest things we've done on this is the way it's mounted. So airbag compatible, it's got your crush zone, which is, you know, something I'm really proud of. But the recovery points, they're a full cup around the rail. They use every single hole available. They're obviously high clearance because they're flat. They're gusseted, super, super strong. Like they're, they're sick. The traditional ones you buy that just hang down out the bottom. I mean, look, they are what they are, but like these are just on another level of of quality and coolness. So super heavy duty. Um, so you got to, if you're thinking weights and all that, you got to factor in that this has all that built into it. Um, it's got a bash plate that goes right down underneath. So ties right back. So it's got another cross member that bolts in back here. That's actually a six mil cross member that bolts in across the bottom. So this is aluminium, but like it's um, five mil alley, but then it has a steel six mil cross member that bolts across. So super strong, you'll never bend it. As I said, these pick up every single hole. It's all fluted everywhere for airflow. This is all open in here for airflow. These obviously go through to the radiator. Everyone talks airflow. So that the holes, love them or hate them. I know it's a real controversial thing. The whole idea is this is airflow through the whole thing. So a lot of cars, it's a big thing. If you're a TD owner and you own a kettle, that's a huge thing. So I've tried to keep everything all, you know, free flowing, lots as much air as we can. But um, yeah, uh, it's foot down position winch. So it bolts straight up underneath. Um, so any, uh, as opposed to a comp bar, it doesn't matter what winch you put in it. Any low mount, the length of the motor and all those things sort of go out the window because it's feet down and the curve of the bar stops it mattering. Um, one thing, you know, not so much with these, but with GU certain front mounts and all that, they probably won't fit if they're in that bottom section because you can't have your bar punched in there and have the winch punched in there and have a huge front mount. You just can't have your cake and eat it too. Um, but yeah, like you'd be a comp bar operator, but yeah, the whole thing we wanted is in, snug, approach, this cool look, and I think we've nailed it. Mm -hmm.